Hey ladies, this is Brianna from HowToBlackHair.com and I want to show you for beginners exactly how to do the Goddess Braids hairstyle. Please thumbs up this video and click the subscribe button because I really love showing you guys how to do these styles in yourself for free and I want to continue to help as many women as I possibly can. To begin, these are the materials you will need to do your Goddess Braids. Starting off, we will be using one pack of Super Jumbo Braiding Hair. As you begin, you want to make sure that you go ahead and remove the rubber band from the hair so that you can begin tapering the ends. Now when tapering the ends, what I like to do is actually lean the hair to one side. And then when I do that kind of like a fan, I then grab the hair in the direction it's going so that way I can shake the rest of the hair down the way so I'm creating slightly different layers within the hair. So now you just want to make sure that the hair is thoroughly detangled before you begin braiding so that it's not snagging or causing you any issues. So I'm literally just running my fingers through the hair making sure that it's not bunched up together. You want the ends to have a tapered feel so that your braids do not come at one blunt end because it makes it hard for the braids to stay intact. That's why you want your braids to gradually get thinner so that it creates that effect. So now this is how your hair should look before you begin braiding. So now, of course, because this is for beginners, I'm going to be using red hair to show you how to do it. You want to divide it into two sections. Pinch off a third from the rest so that you have one smaller section. And with that smaller section, you wrap it around the bigger section so that you can create three equal legs for your braid. It's very important that when you're doing the style, all legs of your braid is very equal. So now with my very last section, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the goddess braid. So to start off, remove the clip from your hair and use a wide tooth comb to thoroughly detangle and smooth through your section. Now taking some edge control, you're going to put a little bit in the front section for your braid so that it adds a very sleek look. And it's optional, you can also do the same thing to the back of your section as well. Now just divide a very small section in the front. The smaller your section, the closer the braid will be to your hairline. Here we are with our red section of hair. And as you can see here, the hair that's in my hand was that third smaller section. That's the section you place right behind your parting. So you just want to make sure you get it right tight up against behind your section of hair. And then you want to grab your section of hair to put it into that leg. Remember, the leg I'm holding is that third smallest leg that turned into one leg. So now make sure that you have the hair very flat and very tight in that section because you're preparing to actually braid. So with my dominant hand, I'm holding down that third section and now I'm getting ready to hook my index finger with the hair that was to my right. So now you're gonna pinch off a little bit of hair that's behind that loose leg you see to the left. Every time you have a loose leg of hair, you always want to pinch hair that goes in that direction. So now you're gonna grab that section we just pinched off to add to that leg. And you're gonna rotate your dominant hand going counterclockwise so that you can use your index finger to hook that outer leg. It's the same thing as doing a regular braid, but all the motions are in reverse. Maybe a little tricky, but what I'm gonna do is walk you step by step and explain every time I grab the section exactly what you're doing. So now that we have a loose leg on the right side, you're repeating the same process. And every time you pinch off a piece of hair, always pinch going inward towards the middle so that way as you're braiding the braid doesn't lean too far to the left or right so always pinch from the side where the loose leg is at so as you can see now the loose leg is going to be on the left side so I'm pushing that hair over and out the way and I'm making sure to pinch going from the middle to the side so that way my braid naturally begins forming directly in the middle of my part that's why the hair is being pinched and going outwards towards the left now as you grab that firmly into your hand, you're going to rotate your right hand going counterclockwise so you can hook the index finger around that outer leg. Now you have a loose leg to the right, and I'm going to continue to re-explain these steps so that you can really understand as a beginner exactly how to do this style. Once you get it down, you're going to ace it every single time. 
Now pinch off a piece of hair from the side where your loose leg is at. As you can see, my loose leg is to the left. So you want hair to be pinched out and going towards the left. One tip I wanna keep in mind is whatever hand has two sections of hair, always push it over your head so it doesn't get mixed up in that third leg you're creating. Also, when you pinch hair to serve for hair to add to your leg of your braid, always pinch hair from the side where the leg is free and available. So what that means is that as you can see here with this leg, what you did was you added hair to it so that way you can rotate your other hand and continue the same process. So once again, I'm gonna re-explain how to do it. So now that these two legs is in this hand, put it over your head and then use your fingers to part from the middle out to the side where the loose leg of your braid is. Always directly pull hair from the middle of the section out to the side, either the left or right side, depending on where the loose leg of your braid is at. So now I'm just gonna continue to explain because it really helps to understand as you're seeing it. Pinch from the outside towards the middle for a new section. Holding it firmly, rotate that left hand clockwise to grab the outer leg of that section. Now with these two new sections in your right hand, you place those over your head so that you can go ahead, pinch off hair from the left to go into that left left leg. Rotate the right hand counterclockwise to hook with your index and thumb finger two new sections into your hand. You just want to continue repeating the process until you work your way all the way down. And make sure to keep in mind that if you want your braid to always stay in the very center of your partings, to always pinch hair off from the middle to the left or from the middle to the right, depending on where your loose leg is. And what I mean by loose leg is that one standalone leg of hair that doesn't have a hand holding it. So every time you're pushing those two sections over your head, you're always holding two legs of your braid in that hand. So that way you can hook it with your other hand to keep transferring those legs back and forth. If your braid is looking a little bit funny, I suggest that you rewind, go back to the beginning until you perfect it. Because once you perfect those couple of turns at the top, the rest of the way will be a piece of cake if you keep continuing the process. So now even at the very bottom, you wanna continue doing the same thing by pinching off and adding to that leg until you run out of hair. You wanna make sure that you part your parts a little smaller near the back because it prevents the back of the braid from actually being lifted from your head if you pinch off smaller pieces to feed into each leg of the braid. So now we're fully finished braiding on our scalp. Now that we're off the scalp, you're just going to continue overlapping one piece of leg over the other piece of leg. So what I mean by that is always grab the outer leg to bring it to the center and then do the same thing on the left and right side because that's exactly how you form an individual braid. One tip to make sure it reaches the end is to pinch off a little bit of hair from the longest leg to add to that smaller section. So that way you don't have to worry about putting rubber bands on the bottom or burning it or anything like that. You can get the braid to reach all the way down to the very bottom by sharing legs from one side that's a little bit longer than another leg so that all the legs can actually come at one point at the very bottom as a tapered look to your braid. So now that our braid is done, this is exactly how your braid should look. And I hope this red color really helped it to pop so you can see exactly the steps you gotta do to achieving your goddess braid. So now after rebraiding my section of hair all black, this is how your hair should look when you're finished. But as you can see, some braids actually stop a little shorter, but hey, I got a way to fix that for you. So now what you wanna do is grab the two closest braids as an indication of how long and thick it needs to be. And then you're gonna add a little bit of braiding hair to it. So I'm pinching off a little bit of my braiding hair that I had left from one pack and I'm cutting it in half because really I only need to add about half the length of what the original braiding hair was. But I need to make sure I add some thickness so that the braids match. So as you can see here, just like I did in the beginning, I'm tapering the hair so that the ends do not end very sharply. You want the ends of your hair to always gradually come to a point because that's gonna make it look very tapered and nice. 
So now I'm just putting it into position to see exactly where I want to fold that braid in here so that it reaches the bottom. And now what you see me doing is I'm just unraveling my braid. You don't have to unravel your braid all the way up. All you got to do is unravel it exactly where it stops at the back of your head or at the desired thickness where you see the braid at so that you can actually begin adding hair exactly at that spot. So now to add hair, you're going to hook the hair in your index finger of your left hand if you are left hand dominant. I'm right hand dominant, but I'm just showing you I'm just starting with my left hand. So now you're going to just continue braiding, rotating the hair one after the other. And then once you free your right hand, you're going to add the hair into the leg. Now, if you start it with your right hand, you just do the opposite. You add the hair in with your right hand, you rotate your wrist about two times so that your left hand is free to add the hair. This helps you to conceal where you actually added the hair into your braid. If you make sure to grab the second leg with the other hand instead of the same hand. So if you notice that you have a ring of hair sitting on the top of your braid, that's because you added it with the same hand and not the opposite hand. So I hope you understood exactly how to do that process because it's extremely simple. And if not, feel free to rewatch this tutorial because you're definitely going to pick up so many tips on exactly how to ace this style. So now that we're all done, look at how beautiful the braids are, looking so thick and luscious and juicy. So now that our braids is done, it's time for a little bit of styling. For styling, I'm using some hairspray and edge control, and I'm using the back of my rat tail comb to add my edge control to my hairline. Of course, you can dip your fingers in your edge control and add it with your fingers if you want, but this just helped me to have a little bit more better control as you see as I'm styling my edges. Now for this look, you can make it look as creative as you want to be. I've seen styles where people have left out their entire hairline, curled up their hairline with some actual hair curlers, and just styled it and swooped it up, making it look so magical. So it just depends on the look you're going for. All of it's beautiful. What you see me doing here is I'm just adding a touch of edge control to the very front of my hairline, just to add a little swoopage action to the front. You know what I'm saying? Just a little swoopage. So I'm just combing my hair to smooth it further into my brain. Braids. And what I really like about being able to do the style is that it's actually really, really fast. It's because the bigger your braids are, the faster it is for you to actually do this look. I have five braids in my head. You can actually have a lot more if you wanted to. It pulls off a total different effect that's extremely beautiful as well. But for that traditional goddess braids look, I know you ladies like it chunky. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And one trick that I always do with my edges is I spray hairspray on top. That is the secret trick to having your edges lay all day, is having some edge control on top so that it doesn't revert back. So now I'm just spraying all of my hair so that I can flatten down any tiny little flyaways I may have just to make it look more sleek and smooth along the top of my braids. As you can see with just a little bit of styling, it added such a subtle glam effect to this super gorgeous hairstyle. With just five big chunky goddess braids, it's such a breeze being able to do this look and it's a very good break from having to wear wigs and box braids. Ladies, I want to thank you so much for watching my Goddess Braids tutorial. And one of my YouTube goals is to actually get my channel to 500,000 subscribers. I'm currently at 375,000, so that means we're more than halfway there and I know we can do it. So subscribe, thumbs up, and be on the lookout for my next video.